everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. So me and my husband, we have this book club, right? It's like, you know, our little thing. <laughs> and um, we had started it up like a while ago, then we read a few books together, then we stop, then we go back and forth. So I was like telling him, you know, we should start it up again. And so I was like, you pick four books and I pick four books. So I'm just going to share with you guys um, those books and it's not like we're going to read the books every month. It's just we start, it's like really relaxed, you know. <laughs> it's just the two of us in it so like, you know, we just read the next book when we finish the other book or whenever we have time, whatever it is. So I have on my phone here the um, different books. I'm going to go through my list first because obviously I picked the good stuff. <laughs> Um, the first one is Americana by Chiamanda Ngozi Adichie. So years ago I read Half of a Yellow Sun. Really, really good. Highly recommended. Made me cry. It's good, okay? And I've been wanting to meet, to read Americana since before it came out. Um, but I don't know. I just haven't read it yet. And there's one other book I tried to read by her. It's called Purple Hibiscus. I have to try again. I'm sorry. And my second choice is The Remains of the Day by Kazu Ishiguro. And I've been wanting to read a book by him for a while. So I just like randomly picked this one. Um, I also, I was like thinking between, I think it's called We Were Orphans. Um, or when We Were Orphans or something like that. That one sounds pretty good. Um, but I chose this one. It's just basically about this guy that reminisces his life over a day over a day he's reminiscing about his life my third choice is nw by zadie smith i haven't read a zadie smith book yet it's ridiculous i've been wanting to um read her forever and maybe this is not a good place to start with her but that's the one i want to read <laughs> and um it's basically about four friends in london and their life and I was watching Brown Girl Reading's um, review on it, and I'll link it in the description. And she was basically like, she read the book and listened to the audiobook at the same time. That really helped her a lot. So I was like, okay, I can do that. You know, I got audible credits. <laughs> and um, then my fourth choice is St. Augustine's Confessions. Now, this was on my... Um, like one of my Friday weekend reads, but I didn't get to it yet. So I still want to read it. I do kind of know the story of St. Augustine that he was, you know, dipping and doing it, running the streets, and his mother was praying for his conversion. So I, you know, I just want to read it, and it's not even that thick and big. It's like a short book. So those are my four recommendations. As you can see, they're pretty good. Now let's go to my husband's recommendations. I was just like, why did I even say anything? <laughs> so the first book is a Murakami book. And I've read After the Quake, which was good. That actually reminds me of, like, for my experience, that would be close to that. What happened in that book would be 9-11, September 11th. So I I really enjoyed After the Quake. It was a little bit like the do Little, there was a few parts, but it was still really good. And then I read, I read another book. I'll put it here. Colorless, right? And then it has a guy's name. I forgot his name and his pilgrimage. That, that wasn't for me. The second book that he chose is Taina by Ernesto Quinones. And y'all, I don't want to read it's um supposedly about this girl who is pregnant and this guy and she's a virgin and this guy like vouches for her and then he gets tied up in it and whatever whatever and has magical realism i don't know i don't care <laughs> then he chose the color of love by sandra kitt which is basically you know a love story about two people from different sides of the world the track and they are they fall in love with each other i don't know the okay this is the only book that i'm excited about that he chose and it's kindred by octavia butler so yeah i was like i did read one book by octavia butler didn't like it but this one 
seems good and I watched a review on this one too and it seems very very interesting um it's pretty much basically about this woman who somehow she time travels she's in the 70s and she time travel the 1970s <laughs> she time travels to the 1800s and um so she's a black woman in the 70s and then she's also a black woman in the 1800s so that is very very interesting um and she kind of keeps going back and forth and I think when she goes to the 1800s she rescues someone's son and she just feels connected to him and you know she's able to keep going back and forth so that sounds very interesting um and I do know a couple people who have read Kendra and they really really liked it and enjoyed it um I think that it's gonna have probably a lot of like deep you know like themes and elements to it so might make me cry okay <laughs> but I'm excited to read that book from his list so from my list I'm excited to read everything from his list I'm only excited <laughs> to read um Kendra but that's I guess the joy of like having a book club and when you choose books because it maybe some of my choices he doesn't want to read but you know it's good to kind of like open yourself to other genres other authors blah 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 i hope you guys are all having an awesome day and see you in the next video bye